today by the incredible Dr. Rona Iskander, who is a wonderful dentist and also a friend. I'm gonna be cooking you this poached sea bass in coconut milk, amazing. so delicate and flaky and amazing, with a chili sambal, which is this sort of sweet, spicy sauce. Oh my God, sounds amazing, I can't wait. What first inspired you to be a dentist? My dad is a doctor. Yeah. And I was always around kind of the medical chat, you know, them having to deal with clients and patients all the time. But for me, it was my aunt that was a dentist, and I just loved the way that she was able to form really strong relationships with her patients. So, like, doctors tend to see you when you're sick, but dentists, you see dentists like every six months. So, I really love that relationship that people can form straight away. Have you got any events coming up? This year I did charity work uh, in a Syrian refugee camp in Greece. I was helping people that are suffering from kind of these war-ridden war countries. Health Point Foundation is a charity that I'm working for and what they do is, is that they help people that need medical and dental care. Uh, and I'm really proud to like have just become their ambassador. So we've got our first Amazing. charity dinner on the 22nd of November. And I am lucky enough that you've agreed to cook for me, you know, so I'm really excited about that. Is there a food that you could be eating that could be better for your teeth? Unfortunately, a lot of the healthy foods are also bad for your teeth. So even like fruits, they have a lot of acids which can erode your teeth, you know, juices, fizzy drinks, alcoholic drinks, etc. You can neutralize the acid in your mouth by having foods like dairy products, so yogurt, milk, cheese after a meal, and also chewing sugar-free chewing gum after a meal. As you know, that is one thing I do all the time. Yeah. Um, it can also prevent decay. And what's the kind of go-to quick meal that you'll make? Like fresh mushrooms, fresh broccoli, um, sweet potatoes. I chop it up, I put some olive oil, maybe a little bit of chili, um, pop it in the oven, put some like salmon with it or some cod. I always use my favorite kind of Lebanese spice called za'atar, so I tend to like sprinkle that on. Do you remember oh, I use yeah. that? Yeah. What is a meal that you've had that evokes a great memory? Going to Thailand was my big first traveling experience, you know, like on my own when I was younger. And I remember being really, really hungry and walking through the streets and like seeing all the street food. And I ordered like some Tom Yum soup from a really sort of traditional place. And it was so big and all the spices that were in there just were like amazing. And I felt like this complete like warmth come over me. Tom Yum soup is something that I associate with like going out of my comfort zone when I was traveling. What's your favorite restaurant in London? I think up there has really got to be Barbary. Being Middle Eastern, I naturally love lots of like flavors. Tahini and za'atar and all those like spices. And what do you do when you're in the kitchen? What's your cooking track? I'm like the person with the most like eclectic music taste. You could find me listening to classical music and then like hardcore hip hop. So it depends what kind of mood I'm in, but I tell my go-to album is Jungle. Is it? Good choice. Yeah devour that in like five seconds. <laughs> Thank you, Nina. That's amazing.